just I said it last night, but incredibly proud of my team um, and my coaching staff, our entire program. Um, you know, when you're building a program, oftentimes you have to go through some uh, some tough hurdles and um, they stayed the course this entire time, continue to believe in what we're trying to accomplish. And I think uh, it was awesome to see them kind of reap the benefits of all that work uh, yesterday. Um, and at the same time, uh, you have to have a short memory because now uh, we have to turn the page and get ready uh, for Michigan State, who's um, playing extremely well right now and, um, and obviously number five, Indiana. So uh, two road games, um, but I think we will take a lot of confidence coming off of this win where you know we got a big lead, Minnesota came back, and we were able to um, fight back and make sure that we, we won the game. So uh, also just want to uh, say a, a big thank you to the fans. The crowd was incredible, and I think made a huge difference yesterday for us. Questions for Coach Mosley? Sure. Mark, go ahead. Hey, hey, Coach, uh, I guess I'm just wondering after you, um, you highlighted a lot yesterday, but after you got a chance to take a closer look at, you know, at, at the, the tape, the video of the game, I don't know if there were any, any hidden gems, anything that kind of, you know, on first sight that maybe, uh, you know, did something that just jumped out at you that really, you know, maybe was an unsung hero or unsung aspect of, of yesterday's win. I mean, I think, um I mentioned her yesterday, but I think you can't say enough about what Ronnie Porter did coming in um, off the bench, seven points and I think seven minutes. I mean, she just was uh, the spark that we needed. Um, and Natalie Leitzinger, same thing. You know, I think we you come to kind of expect certain things from the kids who are starting, but when you've got guys coming off the bench, both of them also being walk-ons, um, to be able to come in and have that type of impact, I think just speaks volumes to their type of preparation and being ready when their number was called. not to monopolize the microphone or anything like that, but I guess I will. Um, you know, every team's different. You know, every team presents unique challenges. I guess, can you, can you speak to uh, Michigan State and for your team, what you see kind of maybe it will be some of the key, key challenges with facing that type of team? Yeah, I mean, Michigan State plays pretty fast, um, similar to how Minnesota played. Um, they've got, you know, dynamic guard play, and then they've got two um, pretty – um, enforcing post players, um, but I think we can also run on them, similar to what we did with with Minnesota. And so I think our um, our defense is going to be crucial. The way we play ball screen defense, um, they've got some shooters um, that they'll find spotted up, and then they do an excellent job of offensive rebounding. And so um, I know we uh, we rebounded the ball better than we have, especially from the offensive side yesterday. We still got out rebounded. Um, I think that one possession where we gave up six offensive rebounds did not help us, um, but. I um, I think that you know that's been something that we've continued to key in on. But I think also just the confidence of going in, taking open shots, knocking them down, and then um, you know getting stops and scores for our team. Uh, Marissa, I know a little bit of a harder weekend too with uh, with Sydney Hillier deciding to you know for personal reasons. Um, and her basketball career, and obviously not talking about her personal situation, of course, making sure that that's private, more so from your side and how you value interpersonal relationships with your players off the court and, and having those candid conversations about mental health. How, how much do you value those things? Uh, yeah, I, I value them a ton. I think, you know, we, we really talk to our players about the, they're the people first before the basketball players, and so we want them to understand that, um, you know, this is a, a game ultimately, and as much as we have a lot of love and passion for it, um, their lives, you know, their livelihood and um, and their their lives in general are, are much more important to that uh, than that. And so, when it comes down to it, you know, we're going to support them in anything that they are going through. And and you know, I think people have gone and had tons of mental health challenges throughout the um, the years and haven't always been able to have a platform or a space where they could feel safe and talk about it. And I just really am I'm grateful and thankful that we've been able to create that for our players and that they um, they know that, you know, their value is not just in whether they can score, you know, dribble or shoot, but that um, it's really about who they are as a person and making sure we put that first. <laughs> 